you know, the thing is, is like, we all pretty much have the same musical background, so we knew what each other wanted, you know? We wanted to go out there, we wanted to kick ass, we wanted, you know, people to like what we were doing, and um, every time we do play shows, it seems people are enjoying what it is that we're doing. So what's the glue that holds this band together? It's gotta be, I it's don't gotta know. be music. It is. Okay. Yeah. That's and, what it is. But, but you know what it is, though? I think that we all have a, you know, a deep respect for one another, that if we're not getting along as far as hanging out wise, then the music brings us together and vice versa. You know, so it's like I, I truly believe that you walk through that door and whatever's been bothering you is left outside there as soon as we start to play because you forget about everything. Yeah. And I think because of that, you know, we become so close. And that's what really keeps us together. It's that driving force of the music. The problem is, there's only friction because you bullshit too much and not play. If you play, there's never friction. You know what I'm saying? Or if there is friction, just play, and then all of a sudden you forget about that. You know, and you just concentrate on the music. Music. You try to say, don't talk about your problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you talk about it, more fights. <laughs> Everything passes by. You know, nothing is nothing's happened so bad that it's made anybody. It hasn't generated any hard feelings that that have lasted too long. So no one's held a grudge? At least not that we know. Well, no. The grudge, it, the grudge usually lasts maybe a week or whatever until the next band. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like that's what happens, you know. It's like something stupid will happen. I'll be pissed at Enzo. Enzo will be mad at me. Or... Do you guys ever talk about what you're pissed about, like directly? Um, well, sometimes, but... Then again, it comes back to letting the music speak for itself. And yeah. we don't criticize, like, we don't say, like, huh. you know, I don't like what you're doing right there. Absolutely. That right. kills a band right there. Yeah, it's really, like, frustrating, especially because I, I what you're playing is, is you. No, actually, I used to prefer playing with, in bands with women because, like, guys were such assholes. <laughs> Plain and simple. It was always fucking egos. You know. That's what it, I guess guys have more, like, more egos yeah. and stuff. Yeah. How about in this band? No, this band is like totally not like that. It's like just coming in and hanging out and yeah, play your own stuff, getting shit done. And like I said, none of that. Like if you're playing a note and someone's like, "I don't like that. Can you do something different and change this around?" About the, you know, it's totally just come in, hang out, do what you what you're most capable of doing. It's nice. It's and like, that's, it's like that's and that's what goes back to like how I said before about asking them like if I'm stuck in like a vocal part, like what do you guys hear? You know, what do you think? You know, what am I doing that's good, what sucks, what should I throw out, and is there something else that you'd like me to do, you know? I think, for the most part, we have the best of both worlds. Because right from the beginning, we've become such good friends. And because of being such good friends, we've been able to deal with all the shit that's gone on. You know? And that's what I think really keeps us together, is the friendship part of it. And also, when we do something that we're so proud of, we're just like, holy shit, you know? It's like, other people have to love this. You know, and then we do play a new song for the first time at a show. You have so many people come to us like, oh wow, that song was great, you know, I never heard of it before, it was awesome, you know. Well, some people come to see us for the first time and they're hooked automatically. Because we've played so many different shows, that I think each one of us is taking that leadership role, you know. So each one of us knows what it means to be in the driver's seat. You know, it's like, you do your best, you know, if things go well, great, you know. If things don't go well, well, maybe all the... You're gonna have to hear, well, that show fucking sucked, you know? <laughs> what the hell are you go booking that show for? You know, and sometimes we get down on each other, but that's just to push us further. You know, if you know, if somebody doesn't agree with a person, you know, I mean he you definitely have grown in the sense that you don't really hold it in that much anymore, which is good. I mean, and to me it's like it's become a family, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, we fight like family, you know, we get along like family. You know, and it's just like we're always there to back each other up, you know? So, to me, that's what it's all about. We must be able to work together. Communication I mean, is the key. I mean, having talent is only part of it. If you can't, yeah, if you, if you can't communicate, then there's, there's no sense. I mean, but don't get me wrong, I mean, it's like things that aren't always peachy keen, you know? Yeah. Part of expression. Because, I mean, there are some nights that you know, I'll go after Enzo, or Enzo will yell at me, you know what I'm saying? And there is always there are those nights when we do have that friction. Mm -hmm. But you know what, that next day, I'm on the phone, and I'm like, yo, Enzo, I'm really sorry about last night, you know, I was fucked up, whatever. You know, or I'll call up James, or I'll call up Tom, if there's something happened between either one of us. And we'll resolve it. So that when we walk back in these doors, we're best friends again, you know, we're ready to jam, 
and we're ready to make the music that we were meant to make. You know, whether, you know, Black Dawn takes off and somebody gives us a record deal or whatever, it wouldn't matter to me because I know we gave it our all and we'll always have this for the rest of our lives.